Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I am a yarn addict and a yarn enabler as well. And I thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my channel. So this is a channel where we talk about yarn, we talk about crochet, and we talk about all the things in between. So if any of that interests you, please stick around and watch my video. And if you enjoy this video as much as I know you will, please give me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell to stay up to date and current with all things with me and my channel. So as the title of this video suggests, we are going to be doing a beanie review. More specifically, we will be reviewing the beanies that I made from a list that was compiled from Crystal over at Bag Day Crochet. She made a list of 20 of her most favorite beanies. She reviewed them, she obviously made them, and I was determined. So as a subscriber to her channel, I have my notifications on. I feel as though she's a buddy of mine and I just want to be able to review all of the things, you know what I mean? Just offer support in any way I possibly can and I feel this is an amazing way for me to do that. So 38 seconds after I got the notification, I said, you know what, self-challenge, I am going to make all 20 of those beanies and I'm going to talk to you guys about them. And so here we are. I want each beanie to have its own moment in the spotlight, so I have decided that we will be doing this in two parts. So the first part, which is this part, we will be featuring the first 11. The second part will feature the remaining nine, and then final thoughts. Um, yeah, so we're just going to jump right into it. I'm sure you can see it. This first one right here. That's the first one. We're going to start with that one. And this one is called the Beginner Basic Blues Beanie. So this one is very simple. And by the way, I didn't go in the order of her list. I went in the order that I made them. So this one was the first one that I made. And I thoroughly enjoyed this because it was very simple and easy. It's all double crochet from top to bottom. And then this bottom ridge here is a reverse single crochet. Um, it was the first time I've ever done that. And it gives off this ribbing effect that makes this awesome. I really like it. Um, my mom actually eyeballed this. She wants, she wants this. And I might give it to her because you can see my skin through the stitches, which leads me to believe that it's a tad on the tight side. Um, which is fine because I'd rather give my mom the ones that don't fit than for it to just sit in a pile. My mom loves hats too. So, um, I made this in the colorway teal. The yarn I used was Karen one pound in the color teal. And I used a six millimeter hook for this. This guys took me literally 30 minutes. This was super fast. I really enjoyed making this. So that one was the first one of the 11 that I made. The next one that I made was the Bon Bon Beanie. This one here is too small to fit on my head. Um, I have decided that I am giving this to my mother. This is the Bon Bon Beanie. This one was made with Bernat Super Value yarn in the colorway Taupe Heather. I believe when Crystal showcased this in the tutorial, she used Karen Simply Soft Tweeds, I think. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, yes, it, no, yes, she used um, Karen Simply Soft and she also used uh, Taupe as well. And yeah, it features some uh, back loop single crochets as well as some post stitches and the crown. I mean, it's so nice. These are front post stitches. Very nice. Um, this one did not take 30 minutes. It was a little longer, but well worth it. We used a five and a half millimeter hook, a USI, and this is the join right here. Very nice. Love that. Um, and yes, unfortunately, it's too small for my big head, but that's okay because it fits my mom wonderfully and she's excited to take this, but I told her, I said, I have to do the review first and then after the, after the review, you can have it. So she will be taking this away from me after this review. 
Okay, this next one here is the Quicksilver Beanie. This was used using loops and threads, a uh, value yarn in the colorway charcoal. This is the join right here. Um, and I used a six millimeter hook for this. And honestly, it turned out on the big side, but it's not because of the hook. It's literally because of the yarn that I used. So loops and threads, their uh, value yarn is a very full four weight yarn. It's very nice. And I think that that had an impact on the overall size. Now it's not too big. It's actually, it's loose, but it's okay. It's just right for me. Like I can put it on and take it off with ease without fussing with it. It's very comfortable, it's very nice. And the number one thing that I really like about this beanie is the stitch definition. I love this yarn for that very reason. It's very nice. Um, so yes, this one was the next one that I made. This one is the Quicksilver beanie. And I ended it with a few rows of the single crochet here at the bottom. And then I sewed in my ends. And you can barely tell so there's that one okay so this next one is the landslide beanie and i made this with loops and threads in the colorway purple i needed to have a purple beanie and this landslide beanie i am absolutely in love with i love the color i love the stitch this stitch here it's two it's two rows and I believe this one was double crochet slip stitch double crochet slip stitch on the reverse um, you worked on the inside and then when you finished the two rows you chained one and flipped it I believe that's what it is uh, correct me if I'm wrong and then there's two rows of the cluster half double is it a cluster it's right here it's really nice and then there's the rows of ribbing it's got a uh, double crochet crown and then this is the joining very nice and neat and organized I love the stitch definition I'm really huge on that and I had to add extra rows of the single crochet because I have a big head so that's the landslide beanie love that let me put it on did i already put it on i can't remember but that's what i look like in it that's why did i put the join in the front <laughs> uh, by the way guys while i'm on this kick of showing you these beanies i've taken pictures of myself in these already and they're posted on my facebook page if you go to uh juan the yarn addict just type that in the search bar and you will come across my my fan page um feel free to jump on there and join i submit pictures to that page before i do the video so yeah i have these already up there okay so this next one here is the blurred lines beanie i used ice yarns puzzle wool worsted and it was the turquoise and brown shades. And what I like about this is it gives me the clay, the beige, turquoise, brown, all the things. You have some post stitches, double crochets. I mean, back loop stitches. It's really nice. And then at the bottom here, we have some single crochets to balance it all out. Um... This is the yarn right here. If you go on an ice yarn, 79919. I don't think this colorway is available anymore. Um, it's sold out so fast. So it might be back in stock. I'm not sure, but 79919. And they have like 16 other colorways to choose from. So if you're a puzzle person like I am, definitely check them out. You don't have to buy anything, but at least look at it. So I get a lot of compliments on this hat on here and in person so a lady complimenting me today she's like excuse me excuse me i'm like yes and she's like 
your hat is beautiful. I'm like, it's a beanie and thank you. And she was like, okay, your beanie is beautiful. She was like, can I touch it? I'm like, okay. So I bent down and she's feeling it. And she was like, oh, is this crochet? And I said, yes. She was like, who made that? Your mother? I said, no, I made it. She's like, you made that? I was like, yeah. She's like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. So yeah, her name is Esther. And I told her to subscribe to my channel. So if you're watching Esther, <laughs> We had our moment, right? So, yes. This here is the Blurred Lines beanie. Love that. Okay. This next one is one of my favorites. This here is the Mocked Bush Tracker beanie. In the colorway, charcoal from Loop, uh, Loops and Threads value yarn. Look at that stitch definition. Love that. And, um, yes, it's front post, it's front post and back post, double crochet. Um, let me flip it around to show you the inside. So that's what the inside looks like. And yes, the herringbone stitch is what you're seeing all across the middle here. It's the herringbone stitch. It's beautiful. And then at the bottom here, it's just a couple rows of single crochet. Again, stitch definition. When I look at this, I enjoy the fruits of my labor. I love the pattern. I love the design. There's no halo. There's no fuzz. I can see everything nice and clear. I love that. Love that. One of my favorites. Oh, and by the way... For the following beanies, I don't know if I said this, but all of these that I just covered with you guys all uses the six millimeter hook. I use the six millimeter hook for all of these. Okay. This next one is literally my favorite beanie of all 20. Um, this is the Stitch Sampler beanie. My absolute favorite. I, I feel so good wearing it. I get compliments every time I wear it out somewhere. And look at those stitches. You have herringbone, you have houndstooth, you have front post stitches, you have single crochet, you have ribbing. I mean, all the things. When I say all the things, this is everything. And I also added my own flair. It's very like not in your face, but it's there. You know what I mean? It's very me. I'm not in your face, but I'm there. And this here was Big Twist Living Line. And I keep messing this word up, but it's called inclusiv inclusivity. You get me. Whatever. Inclus inclusivity. And it is all the colors of the rainbow. And I just did two rows. And I believe that is the star stitch you're looking at the star stitch and then there was some post stitches made right after that but I literally enjoyed making this I did this whole section here is all star stitch and what I did was I did all the rows star stitch except for the last one and then I did the ribbing also so just a couple rows of the rainbow it's this part here is the anti-peeling but the rest of it is your Burnett Super Value in the colorway Charcoal Heather. And I used a six millimeter hook, otherwise known as the USJ. My favorite beanie of all of the beanies. This is my favorite. It was the first one that I showcased on this channel. My very, my very first video, I showcased this. I couldn't put it on because I didn't want my hair to get messed up. I had long hair and it was pulled back. And I didn't want it to get messed up. So I didn't want to take off the hat that I was wearing to put this on. But I did showcase this. And I did say in the very first video that Bag O'Day, Crystal Bag O'Day, uh, has a tutorial out for this. So I was promoting her from day one. I'm a, I'm a Crystal stan, so yes, love that. All right. This next one here is literally a new one for me. I'm not a slouchy hat person. The name of this beanie is Slouchy Hat Puff Stitch Beanie. And I do not, I have not ever owned a slouchy hat. Well, I have one now. And 
I actually enjoyed making this. It took me a while because these puff stitches, I mean, they take a minute. I used Loops and Threads Value Yarn in the colorway gray. And the Value Yarn is a thick yarn. For those of you who have gone um, to Michael's and have purchased this yarn, you know it's a nice full four weight yarn. So yes, it's got some meat on the bones. I love that. So this is all puff stitch worked from the top down. And then around here, it is front post and back post ribbing. And then just a couple rows of single crochet to finish it off. I think in her tutorial, she said you only needed to put one. I think she suggested one, but you could put more. I put more on because one, my head is big. And two, I really wanted that finished look. So, I mean, I'm not used to wearing slouchy hats. I don't know if there's a particular way you're supposed to wear them. Um, but... This is what it's giving us. <laughs> foo, foo, foo. So, yeah. It's very comfortable. It's like slouching into a very comfy couch. You're pulling up your favorite blanket. You're doing all of the things. That's what this hat feels like to me when I put it on. It's not something that I would typically wear, but it's very unexpected and I might wear it in the middle of winter. I mean, I may throw this on. It's very comfortable, guys. I enjoyed making this, surprisingly enough. Wow. Okay, so there's that one. This next one here is the Breakthrough Beanie. So I made this with Red Heart Ombre yarn in the colorway Teal. And I used a seven millimeter hook instead of a six millimeter hook. Um, I believe she used Lion Brand Retweed in the colorway Grapefruit. Um, and she used a six millimeter hook. I was just fearful at this time that like it would be too small. I think coming out from making this, I was like, will a six millimeter be too small? And so I used a seven and it wound up coming out on the bigger side and it's loose, but you could, it's lacy loose. Like it's not tight loose. So it's just letting me know that I could have went to the six millimeter hook and I would have been just fine. Um, I do like it. It is a nice showpiece. Like it's showing me the ombre. Um, I wouldn't put this on in the middle of winter to keep me warm, but I could wear it around the house if I'm feeling chilly or just for show, you know? Um, I wonder how it's going to do in the washer and dryer. You can wash it and dry it. I'm just curious on, you know, will it shrink a little bit? All, you know, I'm, I'm just curious. So I'm going to wash it and dry it and see how this fits. But I do like the color. I do like the teal. Teal is a very complimentary color to purple. Um, so is pink. So I guess it's a moot point. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one there was the Breakthrough Beanie. Okay. This next one here took me a while to make. Uh, and by a while, I mean hours. Because this was literally made with all post stitches from the bottom all the way down. I mean, top all the way down to the bottom. And this one here is called the Reversible Ribs Beanie. All front post. From the top all the way down. And then we ended here with a few rows of the single crochet. I used a six millimeter hook for this. And it was fun to make. It was just very, it was, it was work um, to get this done. And that's the top right there. And you can barely see it, but this is the join to go to the next row. Um, and I use Loops and Threads Value Yarn in the colorway Charcoal. And I'm going to flip this to the other side because it's reversible. And the ribs go the other way. Now you can see the join a little more. But yeah, I enjoyed making this. This one was fun. It was work though. I had to work for this one. But well worth the work. I love it. It's nice and thick. I would wear this out in the middle of winter and know that I'm not going to get sick. It's nice and warm. 
it's warm now with, with me wearing it. Um, so yes, I use loops and threads. I used a six millimeter hook. Um, so Crystal used Malabrigo Rios yarn in the colorway glitter. That yarn was beautiful. I mean, if I could find a value version of that, I would, but that yarn was just one of a kind. I couldn't match that. So I'm like, do I go with a variegated yarn? Do I go with a solid? So I went to my comfort. I went to my charcoal. And by the way, guys, I know you can't see it, but behind this chair, I have 18 more skeins of this exact yarn. That's how much I love this yarn. Like whether it's a blanket or a beanie or a scarf, it's nice and thick. And I this, this colorway is so versatile. You can literally match this with anything behind me and it, it'll go. I mean, it's fail safe. I love it. Thank you, Crystal. Um, and then the last one here, the 11th one that I made, I just made it earlier today. Um, this one here is out of the doorway beanie. And it is a nine row repeat, I believe eight or nine rows. And you start it's, so you make, um, okay. So you make a circle and you work from the bottom up as opposed to the top down. And it's got puff stitches, it's got single crochets above and beneath, and it's got post stitches, and then it just repeats. Um, this was a lot of fun to make. She used uh, Line Brand Scarfy yarn. I didn't use Line Brand Scarfy yarn. I actually decided to experiment. I did um, Big Twist um, Value yarn in the colorway Gray Ombre. And what I did was I took two strands and I worked them together. Um, I decided to do that because one, I just found it very interesting that this particular ombre yarn is not like a great, a solid gradient from one end to the other. It's a washed gradient. So on its way from dark to light, you'll get these little specks. And I just found it very interesting when you combine it with another strand together you get this effect. It's like a variegated ombre effect where up here it's like light and then down here you have your darks, but you still have light too. So I found that very interesting. Um, this hat is a little on the smaller side for me. This is one that I am going to give to my mother or I might give to one of my sisters. I'm not exactly sure, but this is what it's looking like right now. And it, again, it, it is on the tight side for me. I think if I were to make another one, I would have to go with a seven millimeter hook instead of a six. I wouldn't want to create more stitches. I think the stitch count was perfect. I just think that I needed to go a little bigger with the hook and it would be perfect. Um, but in any case, I really enjoyed making this one. Um, how this came to be, actually, I was counting all of my beanies and I was like, I'm at 19. Which one am I missing? I can't find the 20th one. I don't, I don't know where it is. And then I found it. It was this one. So I had to make it quick. <laughs> I'm like, I have to make it. So yes, this took me a little while, but it was nice. I put on Netflix and then I just went to town and I had a great time making this. So that sums up the summary of the first 11 beanies and um my overall thoughts honestly for these first 11 i like the versatility between the choices that that she did for for her her selections i mean they're not all the same they're very different in its own way and i really appreciated the the thought process behind the stitches um i can tell you that she does have some go-to's as far as the crowns She's got, you know, the ribbed crowns, which I believe she mentioned are her favorite uh, crowns to do, but she doesn't stray away from like your basic crowns. So, you know, she thoroughly enjoys that as well. And then this puff stitch crown was also very enjoyable to make. So overall, I mean, I really enjoyed t making all of these. There hasn't been one that I said to myself, this is like punishment. Um, excuse me. I enjoyed making all of them. I do have my favorite 
this stitch sampler beanie you can't tell me anything i absolutely love this um and then um second place would be my this one here the mocked bushwhacker <laughs> am i saying that even saying that right um bush tracker not whacker <laughs> bush tracker beanie comes in at a second place and third place would actually be the reversible ribs beanie yep this would be my third place and tied for third place is the blurred lines beanie so that goes without saying i love all of the projects that i've done here so far um i can't wait to share with you the remaining nine um i just have some more editing to do with that video before it actually goes out so uh that's all that we have for this video. If you enjoyed this video, like I mentioned in the beginning, um, feel free to give me a like, subscribe to me if you're not already subscribed, and then also hit that notification bell to stay up to date and current with me and my channel. Um, I, I would greatly appreciate that. So um, with all that being said, I enjoyed our time together. And until the next one, guys, take care.